Hey everyone, Cypriasson here, and today I'm going to be doing a critique of one of the forum members over at the Cycra.net forums. Alright, so here we have what looks to be a monster uh, coming out of another monster. It seems like there's a little monster poking its head out of uh, another monster. Maybe it's just some kind of elaborate collar. Uh, the collar part, it reminds me of uh, Marlboro from Final Fantasy. Um, and I don't know if this is a, a an original design. It looks pretty original or if it's from a thing, but anyway, it's it's very nice. Um, I really like how you have a lot of flow and rhythm going on in your piece. And so I think that's great, but maybe we can talk about how to make that a bit better. So that's what I'm really gonna focus on is not to criticize you and say, you know, you, you didn't do a good job, because I think you did, uh, especially with, with the way things work in your, your curves and everything, but just uh, perhaps some more ideas uh, you can take into account. So the first thing I think uh, about when I create an image are the big gestures. And here, the first line I put is sort of the gesture I feel. Like there's this big gesture going from the bottom left to the top right. And then you have the secondary gesture coming towards us. And I'm just putting down a ground plane uh, so that I can feel like my figure exists in space. And this will help when I flesh out the figure, um, which I'm doing now. So all this is preliminary stuff. Uh, it's not supposed to be pretty. This is just to get things like position down and, and gesture and flow and what's the energy. Um, I'm not sure if it's wings or if he has a cape uh, behind him, but I'm trying to make that go in a certain flow. And I'm thinking about, well, what's the tail going to be doing? Um, and I figured that I might as well have the tail point back towards his head and then um, carry on a rhythm from the tail to the head to the, I guess, wings or cloak thing, and then going around and then back down to the tail. So you get this um, elliptical uh, gesture. So here, what I'm doing now is uh, filling in the anatomy and, you know, pretty, pretty much what I already described in uh, the simplified anatomy tutorial I've already done. Um, in terms of breaking this down into into shapes and um, trying to ground it. I didn't think I got it quite grounded, but um, yeah, putting down the anatomy and trying to think in terms of like, okay, what's the leg doing? Like what's a foot doing? And um, you still have the basic anatomy in terms of, uh, you know, the knees and things. It's the bones are... Uh, still going to be there. It's just they're different in ratio. Um, and here, what I did with the shading, the underside of the crotch thing, um, I noticed you did it as well. Um, it's just to define that plane so your your guy is three-dimensional, not just, uh, I don't know, made out of, not, not flat or not overly rounded. Um, I tend to stay away from very rounded forms nowadays. I prefer more blocky shapes because uh, it's just easier to get a sense of the three-dimensionality of it. Um, and here, I wasn't quite sure. Okay, so you've got the monster and the other monster coming out of the, the mouth of the first monster. Um, I think that's an interesting concept, but it was a bit difficult for me to read. And when I first saw the image, I wasn't like sure that that was what was going on. Um, so I'm going to have to do something about that. And now what I'm doing is trying to get a, a rhythm for this, um, these wings or this cape. I, I'm just going to call it a cape because it looks more like a cape than wings. Um, but yeah, just get a rhythm. I'm not sure I picked the best one. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe it was better before. But um, yeah, just trying to make it more dramatic, have his arm out. Uh, I'm not sure if you were going for drama, because in the picture you did, it's almost, uh, I don't know, uh, confusing a bit in terms of what's going on, because you've got him looking up, and uh, it almost looks like he's in pain, but then you've got this happy monster guy coming out, and I don't know. Um, 
I tried to resolve it by just putting the monster's head... I mean, it's not just... It seems like a monster in general, but uh, peeking the head out more. But I don't think that's really uh, the best choice, but whatever, you know. Um, I'll, leave, I'll leave the design to you in terms of uh, figuring out exactly how this works. But it is it is a little bit strange, um, but whatever. It's not, not a big deal. Um, now I'm drawing the tail, but I'm making sure I go through the form. Uh, and you probably did that too. Uh, so this is more just for people who aren't doing this. Make sure you draw through things, even if they're hidden behind things, because that helps you understand the form a lot better. Um, so here we go. Mm -hmm. uh, the pose seems a bit more purpose-driven to me. Like there's one big gesture and uh, I'm trying to get a ground shadow. I'm noticing that the leg is not quite in perspective correctly. Uh, I'm trying to fix it here, but it doesn't seem quite right as well. It seems like the, the foot is bent a bit incorrectly. So I uh, gotta go ahead and fix that. Um, and adding some dramatic foreshortening, because again, I'm going for uh, drama here. So pretty much that's it, you know, start with a big gesture and then flesh it out as you go. Um, I don't know if this will help you really, but I hope it does. And uh, thanks for watching.